another episode of What's New with Nadine, where today I'm going to share tips on how to stay youthful. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe. And here on this platform, I share different items and um, tricks that I've learned over the years that have helped stave off some of the aging process. And so I want you to stay tuned to the end because I do have an item here on the floor that if you are perhaps in your 50s like I am, it's going to be a bit of nostalgia. It's uh, my most recent find and love and stay to the end. Now this may be a part one of part two. I have so many items here. I don't know how long this video will run and so at probably minute 20 we will wrap it up and I will shoot a part two. So let's get started. So my definition of youthfulness isn't really about an age, right? If you're 30 or 40 or 50. So I want to share a little story that happened yesterday that is a great um, preface for my point. And here's my point. Um, on the river walk yesterday, which is a local trail, um, it's three miles, it runs along a riverbank, and I brought my granddaughter, who's three. She's one of two granddaughters I have. Um, we bring her little bicycle. And so she's riding along, <laughs> And I'm walking behind her, <laughs> carrying a backpack full of fun stuff. And a gentleman comes up to us and says, oh, your daughter is beautiful. And I said, well, thank you. She's my granddaughter. And he says, oh, I thought you were young. <laughs> and I said, I'm not. I'm old. <laughs> and we both laughed. And he said some adorable things to my granddaughter and moved on. So why is this funny? <laughs> because it illustrates my point. Men and the cosmetic industry have put us into two categories, young or old. <laughs> so I'm here, don't worry ladies, I am here to blur that line because whether you're 30 or 80, you know, we want to feel youthful. Um, and it shouldn't be about an age um, because we witness women that are probably younger than myself that have lost their way and we see, I see older women um, and you know what I mean like late 80s early 90s you're in the bank and they walk in and you're like wow they have their lipstick their nails their hair they're coughed they have a beautiful outfit you know those women you know who I'm talking about you see them in the beauty salon they stand out because they make a pre they have a presence, they make a statement. They're like, yes, <laughs> I'm still here. And they don't want to be invisible. And you know, that permeates your whole attitude. Absolutely, we both know this. We all know this if you have a great hair day, you're loving a new nail polish, whatever it is, a brand new pair of sandals or shoes, whatever lifts your spirit radiates head to toe. I, I, I don't think there's anybody that can convince me otherwise. So on my channel, I'd like to show you some things that I do on a daily basis that help me keep uh, youthful. I am puzzled because I have so many things and I have tried to bro break them into a category of um, some little bit of nutrition, some skincare, hair, <laughs> makeup, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll just give it our best <laughs> shot. Um, a little background, very quickly. I have other videos that I have been shooting about intermittent fasting. I am an intermittent faster. I will not waste uh, any time on this video going into that because I have a three-year journey uh, update um, on that coming up. But a few items that I use are used in conjunction with that lifestyle. So we're gonna just start off very quickly. Um, it is two o'clock. Um, I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> Don't be nauseated, but I did run <laughs> six miles this morning. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> I'm not without energy. Um, so keep that in mind um, in advance of that episode uh, that's coming up that um, you can work out in an empty stomach, you can feel very energetic. Um, I did just make my coffee, so I am breaking my fast. And so what is in my coffee, you ask? 
MCT oil. I buy it in a coffee creamer powder form and unfortunately I had not gotten in the habit of saving uh, the wrappers and the containers on a few of the items uh, so I'm going to read you just quickly. It increases focus, alertness, helps with our metabolic rate, it's a booster. Uh, the acronym is medium chain triglycerides. I won't get into all this um, technical and scientific stuff. Um, it helps burn fat. It converts fat into energy. Um, it's just part of my regimen. Um, and I'll discuss this more in depth um, in that other episode. Um, I do have two previous episodes on my channel. I'll try to link them below about in my intermittent fasting um, that I started three years ago. Okay, collagen. I also bought this in powder form um, that I add to my coffee. Um, we all know it improves skin health, joint pain, prevents bone loss, promotes heart health. And the reason I bought it um, in tandem with a supplement um, which of course is, you know, this is an organic supplement, uh, gorgeous hair, skin and nails, is because my hair is uh, beginning to thin on the crown. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> it's one of the great things that happened to us in our 50s. Um, so I'm trying to combat that. Um, and watching another YouTuber uh, that I admire, uh, she promotes uh, the collagen and she has seen a difference. Now, it could be a self-fulfilling prophecy. I've used this now for over a month, and I swear, I swear, <laughs> I don't see my roots as often as early in my crown. But maybe it's too early to tell. Um, it can't hurt, right? Um, and so I have added this to my daily regimen. The other thing, because of this hmm, darn COVID, my husband and I have bulked up on elderberry, um, I've added this to my vitamin and supplement daily uh, dosage and airborne <laughs> helps support your immune system. Um, my husband and I were a little naughty. We took an airplane uh, trip or vacation, whatever. So um, <laughs> we traveled with all of our vitamins. Okay, so moving right along. Yes, I have notes. Now. What is this? I left the price tag on because I wanted to share with you, um, you know, the MCT oil and the collagen, you know, all, everything is uh, all, all under $10. Um, so in keeping with that, this item here is $3.99. So I do like to share with you that, um, you know, I try to shop uh, good prices. Um, I think great, um, I think great skincare is where we should invest money. But a lot of this stuff here can be purchased in the drugstore. Dry brushing. I dry brushed uh, 20 years ago when my husband and I uh, stumbled upon a book called um, From Harvey Diamond, um, Fit for Life. Uh, we read that book in a weekend, each of us. We were so enamored with all of it that we bought several copies and distributed it in, among the family. Um, it still has the most lasting impact on uh, our lifestyle. Um, he was a big promoter of dry brushing. The potential benefits um, are enormous. You can Google it. Um, you always dry brush um, right before you shower, um, always up towards your heart from your toes, your heels, your thighs, and um, it all has to do with the lymphatic system and your heart. Um, it's great exfoliating. It cleans pores. It reduces cellulite. It takes about, I said to my husband, <laughs> it doesn't even take a minute. I mean, from when you start on your toes and you come all the way up to like just here and here, um, it takes like 25 seconds. Um, invest in a brush. Again, you can buy it at Walmart, Target. Um, you have nothing to lose. So. My husband says to me, I swear to you, uh, last week, he said, I, he said to me, you're re really, your skin is very soft. 
He has said that to me in the past, but he did say it most recently. And I said, I got back into dry brushing. So now I have to buy him a brush because we don't want to commingle brushes. Um, and he's going to start doing the same thing. Look, it, it can't hurt. It's inexpensive. The service is free. <laughs> and you know, you're just slothing off all that dead skin cells. So I think common sense says, you know, it's a good thing. Okay. Yikes. Let me start with something that has had a huge impact on me. I've had this in other episodes. It's called Alpha Skin Care. It's a renewal body ocean, lotion. Um, ocean. I always have the beach on my mind. It's 12% glycolic acid. So the reason I am reintroducing this item in this particular video is because I have noticed something. I put this on every night. Um, heels up to my neck and um, you know there's a lot of debate about um, whether something topical can help our skin so my husband has always said to me that my legs are always so smooth and stuff and I always attributed that to this product what I have discovered and I don't have another explanation for is my decollete okay in years past, I would say as most recently as this past winter, this was very leathery. You all know what I mean. Irritated, red, and leathery. There is less of that now. I think this is $17. I buy it on Amazon. I will do my best to link everything down below. Alpha Skincare. I don't have another explanation. My puppy just walked into the room. In keeping with that, while you're on Amazon, <laughs> it always pops up something else. Oh, if you're interested in this, you might be interested in that. They're always upselling. Okay, Alpha Skin Care also. This is the refreshing face wash. Um, this restores the pH balance in our skin. This is the first thing I wash my face with in the morning. It's not irritating. I don't have any tingling. It's not, it doesn't have that kind of strength to it. But I have known, I've noticed this summer that my rosacea and the blood vessels around my nose and on my cheeks have lessened. I don't know what it is. I have a few products um, that I have added. This is one. It's hard to isolate, you know, what is making the biggest difference. Um, again, this is very inexpensive. Um, and the only other thing I'm curious about is I have switched from timeless um, vitamin C oil to Eva. Both can be purchased on Amazon. This is like $25 which is very inexpensive because the range for vitamin C oil goes up to 200. This was very inexpensive, like $10, but it was recommended again by another YouTuber who she said it had made the biggest impact. Um, so I don't know if it's a combination, what it is that my skin is changing. Okay, this is an item I wanted to share with you. This is a facial primer and setting mist. It is hibiscus, cucumber, fresh rose water. Now, we're all familiar with um, setting mist. You know, you spray on your way out the door, it sets your makeup. This I bought because I saw calming and I saw the, all the natural content. It's um, cruelty free, etc. cetera. Um, I bought it at Marshall's. Why I love this, this is my second bottle already is that I use this this summer <laughs> when we're on the beach. If you're out in your yard and you're having like a moment and it's hot, whatever, it's instantly cooling. And your makeup doesn't start dripping or it, you know, it evaporates quite quickly. Invest in a uh, setting spray or a calming um, mist 
there's rose water. There are so many that a lot of the influencers promote. Um, I'm not very brand loyal unless it has impact. Um, this was, again, I bought it at Marshall's. Just have it in your bag, keep it in your car. For those moments where the heat kind of rises, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so keeping up with skincare. Another thing I started doing again this past year was glycolic acid. Now, I don't know that I wanna recommend um, uh, this item. Uh, it's 30% glycolic acid. You put it on a cotton ball. I would have to test it if I were you. I buy this on, Am on Amazon, by the way. Um, I would do a test patch. And then what you do is you put it on your face you wait, I believe, you follow the directions carefully um, for about eight minutes, seven minutes. Then you take a clean cotton ball and you put it in water that has a teaspoon of baking soda in it. And that neutralizes um, the cotton ball. And then you just take off this glycolic acid. So what effect it has the only can be described as a baby's bottom. When I am done with this process, start to finish 10 minutes, and we do this once a week or once every two weeks, your skin is glowing. It's like you just left a salon. It's called Oz Natural Naturals Medium Strength Micro Peel. Glycolic acid, again, not expensive. I've had this almost a little more than six months and it's still half full because it's only a little bit that you add. Keeping up with our eyes. Over the summer, I did invest in, in before, before the COVID, excuse me, uh, late uh, winter, early spring. I invested in eyelash curling and tinting. And that was an interesting process. I don't think I'm a great candidate for that again, unless and until my eyelashes grow. So while I was there, the great young lady says to me, um, invest in an eyelash serum. So I've discussed this in another video. I went home and I ordered Revitalash. Again, Amazon carries it, expensive, $60. Huge difference on my eyelashes, huge. So huge that Sometimes they tickle my eyelids. I'm like, what? <laughs> Huge. All the sparing corners that I used to have are no longer barren. I have eyelashes. I think I started this in March and I have eyelashes. And I just recently started another one. So I guess the investment is about $120 for the year. If you're faithful, I am quite faithful because once I started noticing a difference, I already reordered the second um, flask here of serum serum so I wanted to say you know this is on the expensive side you know this isn't um, because it's it's interchangeable you can buy different you know I don't know that you know the mist matters this is inexpensive this is under twenty dollars so you can see that I have a myriad of items here but some things are have a bigger impact and therefore yield more results. I'm looking at the time and I'm thinking I'm not going to get into the makeup today because it, it could get nauseating after a while. You'd say, Nadine, is she ever going to stop talking? <laughs> but I'm very excited because I have so many great things. Um, so let's move on to a, a little bit of hair, okay? Because I noticed my hair is thinning a little bit, um, I bought this Pantene Age Defying Concentrated Treatment. Um, inexpensive, you know, it's a Pantene product. I just started using it. Um, I'll report back. And the reason I grabbed that is because this is still one of my favorite products. This is probably the third box I've bought. It's called Pantene Rescue Shots. The Today Show did a profile on this probably before Christmas. I went out and bought it. This is not $10. It's probably seven or eight. I don't even know. Um, and there's three in here. Yes. You put it on in the shower. 
I mean, you bring it in with you in the shower, it's one of these. I get two, two uses out of one, sometimes three um, out of this. I always have one box uh, on deck in my drawer. Um, it's just great, your hair is glossy. It's like that BO5 treatment from the uh, 70s. You girls will remember that. Um, it's just, an, again, um, I think it just kind of little shocks your, um, your root. Um, something um, it just your hair just becomes more vibrant and alive um, and also I started going back to an old favorite Redken this is a color extender um, and the reason I bought this is because I just had Saison treatment done in advance of our vacation to a humid climate I had Saison done I have a whole video on my Saison treatment uh, at the uh, salon I did start to finish it's a keratin treatment it's extremely inexpensive um i don't know what prices are in everybody's area i would say inexpensive it's not 300 dollars. it's not anything like that i've paid that in years past it is very um pocketbook friendly for what you yield i can go outside now in the thick humidity and my hair will still look lustrous, shiny, coughed. It is a great investment. What it does though, is it lightens your roots. So that's why I wanted to pay a little bit more attention to my root color because, <clears throat> excuse me, you could tell I'm getting a little hungry. My stomach is moaning. Um, when, when my uh, stylist, Amber, does the roots um, and then the Saison in tandem, it kind of lightens uh, the ends and a little bit of the roots. Um, that's a choice. Uh, I tried to get gang everything together at one salon visit. Um, I could do it uh, alternately. but um, So I'm trying to um, extend my color. So far, so good. I'm very happy. And uh, concluding in the hair section, my girlfriend bought me this. It's from Trader Joe's Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Serum. Now, you're saying, well, if you have Saison, why do you need this? Well, I have new hair growth, right? After a couple, you know, two weeks, you start to see baby hairs, and they haven't been um, exposed to the Saison treatment, so they're there. And so I put a little bit of this. The coconut smells to die for. I just, you know, after I'm all done, I pat it, just run it through the ends because you know why? It makes your hair silky soft, so good. I think, thank you, Debbie. Um, I think she said it was under $10. Well, if it's at Trader Joe's, you know, it, it, it's not a salon product where it could be $50. So now I'm gonna finish. Oh, most important. Again, I'm not really brand loyal. Tresemme, any product. Root touch up, can't live without it. Cannot, cannot. I have a travel bag in my bathroom ready to roll when we go on vacation. I have one in there, I just leave it in there. <laughs> Nothing will age you faster, ladies, than a big old white line. Nothing. I don't care how nice your makeup looks. <laughs> um, the biggest question I've gotten lately on Instagram and Facebook and when I'm out is what is my lip color? And I used to buy a Kat Von D lip gloss that I love. I still love it, but it's $35. I mean, it's great. I think my camera's gonna die. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so what's my dupe for this beautiful mauve or my mom used to call it dusty rose lip color it is la colors matte now la colors <laughs> you can buy it at walgreens cvs walmart i don't know 3.99 yes i'm not going to say it competes with um kat von d because that product you put it on at 8 a.m you can come home at five it's still on there uh so um let's be honest this is just a dupe in color you have to reapply it throughout the day. Um, whereas the Kat Von D lasts all day. But you know, life is what you put in, you get out. And um, ladies, I, I don't like to spend $35 on my lip uh, liner or 
gloss, um, especially because my granddaughter has discovered my lipsticks. <laughs> um, and finally, two items that I have added to my skincare. And I will have an upcoming video on to update everybody on some of my skincare regimen has changed. Um, I am gonna talk about Botox and where I've had it lately. I will tell you to stay tuned for that. Uh, this is a Skin Medica eye lifting, uplifting eye serum. And I put that on right here every evening. Skin Medica is a medical grade. Um, this is by no means inexpensive. But I think my eyes um, still remain pretty much the same over the last year. Um, you know, I, ha I have some um, wrinkles uh, creeping in, but um, that's where I invest my money. So, to, you know, two Kat Von D lip glosses, well, three. <laughs> is what it costs to buy a medical grade product. Um, the beginnings of Lumiere Richer. This is also an eye balm. I put this on right here very carefully with my fingers uh, underneath my um, foundation. It's part of my daily regimen. Um, also a little bit expensive, but um, you know, we yield the results uh, that we invest in on some things, and that would be skincare. Skincare, skincare, skincare. It's really true. Everybody will tell you. So, I'm not going to finish this side here because we're too far in. So, let me share with you um, what I discovered lately that will hearken both you and I back um, to our younger years when we were kiddies. And uh, I remember this always being in my grandmother's bathroom. She had a tiny bathroom, you know. Our grandparents lived in very tiny houses and were likewise very happy. So I discovered this, <laughs> rediscovered it, I bought it. The biggest barometer for anything I buy is always my husband. If he has a comment, if he says something unprovoked, then I know it's a great investment. <laughs> I think this was $17. Ready? Gina Tay. After bath splash. Well, especially in the summer, we take a shower every night, right? And I put this on after my bath, bought my shower. It's like lemon. Oh my God. It's, there's really no other scent like it. It's so unique to Gina Tay. Oh my God, I could just inhale it. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and, and reused like a little, I should have brought it out, you know, a smaller version of this with the pump. And I have filled that, I put it in my to-go bag and I just take it in the car, you know, there's nothing like that scent. Now, it doesn't last like a cologne or um, a parfum, a de toilette. It's not going to last like that. It, it doesn't have that staying power. But if you keep a little in your purse, there it sprayed in your car. There is nothing like that. This scent, it's crisp, it's fresh. Find it at your CVS. Go on Amazon; they have it. And so, ladies, that concludes part one, because part two will be another thirty minutes. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode. I hope you found some of the items that I'm sharing with you to be of interest. Um, it's just, uh, you know, it's my compartmentalized part of my life that I enjoy um, looking and feeling youthful. And that youthfulness is really related to spunk. And I'm not going to let the second half of my life pass me by. <laughs> I have some books here that I wanted to share, so I will do that in part two. You take care. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.